Judge rules that nursing home residents can vote by video while CMS emphasizes that providers must ensure residents' balloting rights. And Nevada suspends use of point of care rapid testing devices at nursing homes. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. CMS is reminding providers this week that they must ensure nursing home residents are able to exercise their right to vote during the upcoming presidential election cycle. The agency issued the affirmation in a memo to state surveyors last Monday, noting that the coronavirus public health emergency has resulted in limitations for visitors to enter the facilities to assist residents with voting. The memo was issued on the same day that an Arizona judge issued a ruling allowing voters confined to nursing homes, hospitals, or those living with disabilities to cast their votes through video during the presidential election. An August report by MarketWatch detailed that the pandemic has created a more difficult voting process for nursing home residents, leaving their votes at risk this November. CMS encouraged nursing home owners and administrators to collaborate with states and local officials to ensure a resident's right to vote is not impeded. Quote, nursing homes should have a plan to ensure residents can exercise their right to vote, whether in person, by mail, absentee, or other authorized processes. If a state has specific programs to enable nursing home residents to vote, the facility should coordinate and engage with those programs as appropriate, the agency wrote. It added that those programs could include mobile polling in residential facilities performed by a bipartisan work team, providing assistance with voter registration, requesting absentee ballots, or having a representative of a resident's choosing help complete their ballot. CMS also noted that mandates for use of mail-in nursing homes also applies to mail-in ballots. Those regulations include providing reasonable access to tools in order to send mail and promptly giving and sending residents letters. Long-term care providers in Nevada are being advised to continue using point-of-care rapid testing devices provided by the federal government, despite a state order that nursing facilities immediately suspend use of them due to suspected unreliable performance issues. The state's Department of Health and Human Services issued the directive to providers late last week, calling on nursing facilities to, quote, immediately discontinue the use of all COVID-19 point-of-care POC antigen tests until the accuracy of the test can be better evaluated. The state order is in response to several anecdotal reports it received from skilled nursing facilities in mid-September that testing devices were producing false positive results. The state later surveyed 12 facilities to investigate the issue. Of 60 positive antigen tests, 39 needed to be confirmed through PCR testing. Of those 39 tests, 23 were found to be false positives and 16 were true positives. The department said it will continue to work closely with the Nevada State Public Health Laboratory to further investigate the issue and once more data is gathered and analyzed, it will issue formal updated guidance for, those, for the use of antigen testing for skilled nursing facilities. Leading Age National said it's, quote, recommending that members continue using antigen tests as instructed. The federal government is also looking into the issue. A top health official noted that the reports were, quote, not in excess of expectation in late September. A joint survey by Leading Age and the American Healthcare Association found that about 20 to 25 percent of skilled nursing facilities have received false positive results from their equipment. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.